Sunday long run day. I am about, I think, maybe a mile, mile and a half, just looking at my watch there, into my run. Now I need to do nine miles today, but I've noticed there is a 15K Garmin badge to be had. So I'm gonna try and do 15K, which is about 9.33 miles, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, but it's very cold but what a lovely day now i'm going to try and run down this footpath but it has been raining although it was dry yesterday and it's usually muddy footpaths <laughs> so i've got to see what that's like but oh so i thought there's someone behind me hopefully it's runnable now the plan today had been to get on a train and go into town and run along the river Unfortunately, there's no trains running for the next couple of weeks, so I'm having to stay in my town, which isn't very big. So trying to find a nine mile route is a bit tricky, so I think it's going to mean doing loops. And I will do a little bit along a river. You can run a little way along a river here. But behind me, look, it's just fields. And it's really quiet. I don't know what time it is. It's maybe half past eight in the morning. Something like that, quarter to nine, to nine o'clock latest. But it's just a beautiful day, the sun's trying to come out now. So I'm going to carry on. That was a big puddle. Can we get past the mud? Uh, hopefully it's not all the way down. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna go round. <laughs> round the puddle. This is like not accessible at all in the winter. We had rain all week and it finally stopped yesterday. Hopefully it's just this bit at the top, this is always the worst. So all the tractors come up and down here. As you can see it's just all farmland. So we didn't do park run yesterday. Brian was gonna do it but unfortunately he's got a cold. So I think we just decided as he's doing a 20 mile run today in preparation for New York Marathon that he wouldn't bother. So you've got to watch where you're running along here. It's a bit lumpy underfoot. There's no like proper footpath, it's all grass. I'm really enjoying it actually. I wasn't feeling it this morning when I got up. I could have quite easily talked myself out of going today. And we are three and a half minute miles, sorry, just over 5k in. Shit, just nearly fell over. All right, four miles in. I'm gonna just start sipping a gel. So that's what I'm gonna try and do on race day. I wouldn't normally take gels for a 10 mile run, but I'm a lot slower than I used to be. And it's gonna take longer. So I'm gonna try one of these. I'm not sure, but I think this might be what they have on race day. Also guys, if you know anything about the Great South Run, do they have bottles of water or cups? Because I can't drink out of cups, which means I might have to take a hydration vest and bring my own drink, which I don't really wanna do because of pinning my race uh, bib on. I'm just near a busy roundabout. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a bit of this and then I'm gonna kind of sip the rest of it. I don't wanna glug it all down in one. Right, let's carry on running. Oh, <laughs> 
two miles or 10k and your park runs go we're nearly there eight miles 1.3 to go or 10k gel time nine miles done I have about half a k to go or point three three third of a mile left cooking on gas Whew. nine point four miles done Whew. can't believe I've done that oh, to think I wasn't feeling it this morning I really didn't want to go for a run and now I've just conquered my longest run in about 16 months Whew. Well, I'm feeling a bit more positive about Great South Run now. Hopefully I can do it. We will get home and do a recap shortly. So today's run actually went better than I thought it would. This morning I woke up, as I said earlier, and just really didn't want to go. It was a bit of a struggle. The weather's taken a turn over here in the UK and it's pretty cold now. It got to two degrees at night a couple of nights ago. That's um, two degrees Celsius. And it's still really cold in the morning so I didn't want to go out. I left it a little bit later than normal and it was about half past eight when I went out which normally I would go out probably an hour before that but as I was staying close to home I didn't really need to get up too early and get on a train or anything so it was quite nice in a way. I don't enjoy particularly running around my town because I've done it so many times and it's quite a small town and I just end up doing like the same 5k loops that I always do so I tried to sort of do a little bit of a different route this time though I did still do a bit of my 5k loop as well um, so I suppose it has its advantages though in that I didn't need to take any drink with me this time because I thought well if I need some I can just pop back home and just grab something and then carry on as it was I didn't need anything actually it's quite cool today so I didn't really feel the need to have a drink until I got home and I just took a couple of gels as you saw so as I said I wouldn't normally take gels for a run of 10 miles but back in the day when I was much fitter 10 miles used to only take me 90 minutes now it takes me longer than that I'm feeling the need to have a little bit of extra oomph <laughs> so the gels obviously give me that I've never taken caffeine gels before, so I thought I would give it a whirl and just see if that helped. Um, but I didn't want to take it too early on in the run in case it gave me stomach issues. So I took it at eight miles just to give me a little bit of pep towards the end. And I thought, well, if it does give me stomach issues, I can just go home. I'm not too far from home. Uh, or maybe I can just finish my run and get around, I suppose. So I took two, two different sorts of gels. I normally take the Science in Sport gels anyway. Um, they are a little bit thicker though, and some people don't really like them because they're quite gloopy. I really like them, but I also like the High Five. I love the taste of the High Five gels. They taste really sort of fruity, like quite natural flavors, but they are very watery, the Aqua ones. And so I do find them quite sticky. As soon as I opened it, I got it all over my fingers, which then meant for the next two miles of the run, I had to go around with sticky fingers, which wasn't very pleasant. So not sure what I'm going to take. I might take the same for race day that I took today. I have a couple of caffeine gels left. So we might just give that a whirl and hopefully I won't need both, but you never know. I did feel like after about eight miles that I was getting a little bit tired. But then I suppose last week I did 8.68 miles, which wasn't really much more. So I guess at that point was kind of my longest run in a long time. As I say, I haven't run that distance. I think it's about 19 months, actually. I said 16 months earlier which was incorrect um, I think it's actually it's over 18 months anyway since I had my ankle injury now talking about ankle injury um, last week after my run I felt absolutely fine the next day I did feel a little mild niggle in that ankle again so I think I'm going to have to be really careful about doing too much running so I haven't actually run all week since my last long run last Sunday 
But that, I mean, I had, do do other exercise. So I have been doing plenty of yoga, plenty of strength work. And actually, I've just started doing a new strength program as well, which is specifically for runners. And that is meant to help with kind of the smaller, more stability type muscles. So I'm hoping, you know, that might actually help with my ankle because I think it's connected to my hip, maybe my glute. So if I can just strengthen the glute med and all around my hips and all the muscles there, that perhaps that might just stop my foot rolling in quite so much, which I think is the issue um, that's causing my ankle to be sore because uh, it's um, an inner tendon issue. So hopefully going forward, that won't be too much of a problem now. I'm just going to see how it feels tomorrow with tendon issues. I do find they hurt more the next day than during the run. I didn't feel any pain at all today. So let's just see what it's like tomorrow. If it's okay, I might do a little run during the week before I do my long run of 10 miles next weekend. But if there's any soreness, I'm just going to have to leave it and just do my long run next week. So that will be my last long run before race day, which will be two weeks after. So today's run, well, what did Garmin think? Well, last week, if you remember, after I did my run, I think Garmin predicted I would do a great south run in an hour and 30 minutes. Now before my run today it actually predicted a little bit slower than that Garmin was saying I'm going to do an hour and 31 now after my run now today this is what it thinks so it now thinks I can do it a little bit quicker so my run obviously went quite well it was quite pleased with my progress today um, I'll put my mile splits up here on the screen as well so you can see those as you can see um, I did take it quite easy. And in fact, I think one of my mile splits was about 12 minute miles, but that was because I kept stopping to take video footage for this YouTube content and also to take photos as well. So that obviously slowed me down, but I got to the 10K mark and I just thought I'm going to try and speed up now because I want to do quicker than I was doing today on race day. I need to get a little bit of practice in. So the last three miles um, were quicker, as you can see from the splits. So that went to plan. Um, was a bit of an obstacle course today. So what I mean by that is, well, first of all, I got barked at by a dog, which you'll see on film. Then um, going along the riverbank, which you didn't see, there were tons and tons of people fishing. Now, I've never seen that many people fishing along there. Uh, we do get fishermen along there, but I think there must have been some competition or other on there today. And there were tons and tons of people fishing. And obviously with fishing comes lots of equipment, but there were a couple of fishermen that had a lot of their equipment right slap bang in the middle of the footpath. Now that riverbank has slopes both sides like this with just the footpath running along the top. So obviously I'm running along the top of the riverbank because I don't want to run on these steep slopes. And two of the fishermen had like great big boxes of what I assume was uh, bait for the fish, great big tubs on the actual footpath. Now I struggled to get round it without going down this steep path, this steep riverbank. And one guy just, he saw me coming. He was there mucking about with his, with his tubs of bait, he looked up, saw me coming and just didn't do anything, didn't move them out of the way. So I had to stop before I tripped over him and these tubs <laughs> and walk down the slopey riverbank to get round it. So guys, if you're into fishing, I've got no issue with you, each to their own. You know, it's a sport, it's what you like to do. But please, please, please don't block the pathways. <laughs> don't be a, you know what, and then finally, I nearly got taken out by a football. <laughs> I'm running down the footpath near the back of my house. It's like playing fields there and there's a big football pitch. So it was obviously a football game about to start because the guys were all warming up, kicking balls about and stuff. And I'm running along the footpath and I'm actually, because I'm nearly home, I'm actually getting quite a bit of pace on. And suddenly this football comes flying towards me. I didn't see it till the last minute. It came flying towards my feet. <laughs> it's quite 
quite some speed and I'm running at quite some speed. Thankfully, I saw it just at the last minute and managed to jump over it whilst running before I got tripped up. Honestly, that could have been quite nasty. Um, anyway, the hazards of running, right? If it's not a dog, it's a football. <laughs> Did I get my Garmin badge? Of course I got my Garmin badge. I ran 9.4 miles. So I got my 15K Garmin badge finally. <laughs> I haven't had a 15K Garmin badge for God I don't know how long. Can't even remember the last time I got a 15K Garmin badge. So I know petty small things like that please me. What's the saying? Uh, little things please little minds or something like that. So as I said, next week is a 10 mile run. Please do join me for that. And if you've got any races coming up, let me know what they are. I'd love to know what you're training for. And hopefully you've enjoyed this content. If you have enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I am trying to grow this channel. And we've just got to 50 subscribers as I'm recording this. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed already. Take care, guys. Happy running. I will see you on the next one.